on bounce this month marks two years since Pineville volunteer firefighter Richard Sheltra died while battling an intense fire at a golf store. Richard, just 20 years old at the time, and since his death, his family has carried on his legacy through the Richard Sheltra Memorial 5K. Uh, there is a picture of Richard. His parents, Michael and Lene Sheltra, are here tonight along with Pineville Fire Chief Michael Guerin. Uh, we're going to talk more about the race as well as Richard. So thank you all for being here tonight. Well, I'm glad to be pleasure. here. So great to see you. Uh, I know last time, Mike, you were here, so I'm thrilled that you guys are here tonight uh, to talk about the race and Richard and his legacy. We'll start with the 5K and why you wanted to begin one in his honor. Well, it was a logical, semi-logical step that we took. Um, we wanted to do something to, to keep Richard's memory alive and things of that sort. And in doing so, we formed the 5K, but we had to come up with, or excuse me, the Memorial Foundation. And then we had to come up with a method of funding the foundation. And one of the things that came up was having a race. Um, and it made sense because Richard was a very athletic, well-maintained, you know, worked out a lot and was trying to uh, maintain some speed as well. So. <laughs> so. Um, and Lene, this gets bigger every year. Every year it gets a little scarier. Every time I have to keep holding him back that more is better and sometimes he doesn't realize that. He gets scared because of the crowd, but it's, it's not an over amount of people. We can always take more on. <laughs> and I know um, that it's always, firefighters are a family, Chief. And Absolutely. I know that, that this was no exception with Richard. And so it made sense for you guys to be actively involved in this 5K, too. Oh, it, it absolutely does. You know, we, we talk about it every year, you and I and, and Mike and Lene and all of us in the fire service. You know, there are these men and women in the fire service, police and all that. They, they, they put their lives online every day, and, and we're proud to do it and glad to do it. And those that don't return, you know, it's, it's our goal as those that, that are still here to keep their legacy alive and continue to remember them and, and continue to support the families of those that have lost loved ones while, while serving us all. So this is just another way we get to do that. We get to fellowship, we get to come together, and we get to honor and remember Richard and all the men and women just like him that, that didn't return. So we're glad to do it. And I know the goal with this race, Mike and Lene, is to keep Richard's memory and his legacy alive for people <clears throat> who don't know, who may not be familiar. Um, what is his legacy? He was a fun-loving, good-natured, you needed a sofa moved, you could call Richard, he'd be right there. He's just everybody's big brother. That's, what That's probably a good way of putting it. He, was, he, was, he had a servant's heart, and um, I think anybody that's in the service, public service arena, you know, has to have a service heart, servant's heart to begin with, but mm -hmm. uh, it's... Uh, he was a prankster and just absolutely <laughs> loved to be involved with um, anything that was asked of him. So, You guys also have a foundation, Richard Shelter Memorial Foundation. We do. Talk about the purpose of the foundation. The, the foundation was established um, and its uh, goals are to provide educational five $1,000 scholarships for uh, anybody that's in the arena of first responders, EMTs, police officers, fire. And then we also want to buy um, five sets of turnout gear. Uh, the two areas in which Richard really concentrated when he was with us was in education. And it drove him crazy when uh, you a volunteer, you don't know whether you're going to have new gear, old gear, whatever. And fortunately, a lot of departments are well funded, but Unfortunately, there are those that aren't well funded, and they, their tax base is much smaller than some of the ones in the Mecklenburg County area. So we're looking out for some of those folks that are in, in need of assistance. And so um, it's a great way to, I mean, we've helped uh, some departments out, you know, one down in Robeson County uh, that was severely damaged as a result of the hurricanes. And so we're looking at helping out in some other ways. So. But it's education and gear that's our primary. And this is, you know, you talk about Richard having a servant's heart. It's because his parents have the same. You guys also, uh, firefighters. You were firefighters. We were, yes. And so only natural for your son to follow in your footsteps. What else do you want um, folks to know about Richard? Hmm. Prankster. 
<laughs> that boy, could, he, he could tape a water hose to the sink, and as soon as his dad would flip the water on in the morning, he would get hit right in the face. And, and to me, it's not just about Richard. You know, I mean, we wear a shirt that has a big 73 badge on it, and the 73 badge, or the 73, it, you, you see it, you know, all over the place. Um, but it's about the public servant and anybody that's wearing the badge. And that's where we, we're trying to migrate this whole process to. And I believe we have some visuals of when the 5K is, is coming up. Uh, April, Saturday, April... The 28th. <clears throat> the 28th, here we go. At the Bell Johnston Community Center in Pineville. The 10, there's a 10K, 5K, and the One Mile Fun Run. That's what Mama Mac and I did last year. We did the One Mile Fun Run. You know, you have to know your, you have to know your lane to so stay So you'd be in. 5K this year? Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll, I'll call her, don't worry. The 10K starts at 7.30, the 5K at 7.45, and then the One Mile Fun Run uh, between 8.15 and 8.30. If you want to learn how to register, for more information, right now, you want to go to WBTV.com, look in the Web Extra section, right on the home page, there's a link to doing that. Uh, Mike, Lene, Chief, thank you so much for taking the time thank out to, to we, be we here greatly tonight. Appreciate Are you doing the 5K, Mike? I am shaking hands and kissing babies. Ah, okay. I think that's smart. I'm, I, 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 think need that's to, smart. I need to do the 5K, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be at the <laughs> start finish Those two are going to do the 5K after, in oh, the afternoon. Okay, we're going to do it, this, do it that afternoon. Okay, all, all right. right, cool. Makes sense. All right. I can't promise the 5K, the one mile. Hey, we look forward to seeing run. you. Fun run. You know, you and Mama I can Mac. do that. Mama we, welcome, we had a good time. Mama we welcome everybody that we wants had a good to participate. Time last time. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here Thanks. tonight. Thank you. We got more coming up after the break. Stay with us.